Okay. We're rolling. <laughs> it's here. The Aberex uh, Live Gamer Ultra 2.0. I'm very excited for this. This this right here is literally no more lagging. Like, like if you see my previous games, how like certain stuff get distorted and it lags and the, the frame rate drop. No more of that. I can be able to actually play the other games that basically I tried to play and the uh, you know cutscenes was blocked and all that stuff. I can record live gameplay. I mean live uh, audio from like get, like from like parties and stuff. And I really gotta really do that much. Like that people can already. I got worried saying like, hey, cut your mic on or anything like that. Yeah, already gonna be recorded. I cannot wait. Um, also, to step back a little bit, I have to set everything up because I said once I get the e Abrex Media Card, everything is coming over here. So. You have the PS4, or the PS5, um, you have my PS4, uh, the other one, that's fit to go somewhere else, but, you know, shout out to my boy Vixen, um, but you got, um, my PS4 right there, that is a pro, uh, you have, uh, well, Bill's right there, but you have, um, my Xbox One X, and you have my Xbox, um, Series X. So, without further ado, man, let us start the unboxing. Alright. Um, hopefully this comes out right, but I had to turn it over a little bit. Right here. Look at this here. Look at this here. Awesome. Uh, excuse my sweat. I had to set up everything over here, and also I'm cleaning up, if you can see in the back. So, But the Abrex Media Card is here. Let's unbox it and see what's inside. Uh, as you see, it says right here, let's get started. Protect, uh, thank you for purchasing the caption card. I uh, got a QR code for Rainbow Effect. Whatever. Um, it says right here, how to, how to hook everything up for your computer. Uh, your optional um, for your gaming, for your headphones. So that should be good. And also, look, specifically PS, PS5 and Xbox. Specifically that. All right. Uh, we have the, of course, obviously, the the caption card. We got it right here. Looks awesome. Like I say, I must excuse me. It is hot over here. Like, it's going to be burning up over here. My live reviews are going to be something serious. But um, you got the uh, Averex Media card. Okay. Put that right there. You open the box, and you have the class type C connector, one. You have headphone jacks for your controller and your uh, your headphones, basically what, you, what you're seeing on the box. Then you got your uh, HDMI uh, connector. And it says 8K right here, so this should be this should be good. I'm so excited. I can play all my games, everything without like frame rate drop and all this stuff. Because I found out through Maximilian, um, shout out to Maximilian, he said that basically I, I didn't even know that that, that uh, Twitch did not support uh, 4K gaming. He had he had like a whole video on that. Like I I, I, did, I didn't know that, so that will probably explain like a lot of drop frame rates and like the newer games I got and all that stuff. But also to as well. Another reason is that I can actually play the Final Fantasy game because I won't be using the, it won't be putting out the PlayStation Five won't be putting out that much power, so to speak. Because when I stream directly from the PlayStation, it it it, it is like it man, whole another deal. Like seriously, which means I gotta check and see if my my digital games are still good. Because man, yo, like that that shit almost dropped me. Um, nevertheless, um, need assistance. Uh, love your new product. Uh, so we have three QR codes, subreddit, uh, DM on Twitter, and tech support. Boldly craft. Uh, register your extended warranty. Nice. Uh, download a central. Download Assist Central to get exclusive every streaming recording software and all that stuff. And start creating. It's time to enjoy the Avery Media product. Let you speak and let what I'm talking about. And then we have the quick start guide, which I'm going to basically plug this up and I will let y'all know exactly what the fuck happened. And also there is nothing more else in here. Nothing else. So check back in a minute. 
day two, day three, day four, three days later. Okay, um, so, given with that, um, there's been a lot of shit been going on, excuse me, oof, god damn it, I'm sorry, it's like it's eating. um, but there's been a lot of things going on with, um, shaping out the Abrex media card, this isn't no damn, as I thought, just plug and play type shit, of like, just me plugging it in, and Everything going is go, go, like going a certain certain way. Um, even right now, as we speak, right now the Averex Media Car is up, it's running, it works. I'm going to uh, show you comparison game footage um, as I progress through it of trying to make things work. But uh, nevertheless, it does work. It allows me uh, combined with the OBS uh, software. Um, it works completely fine. Um, I tuned the uh, the Xbox Series X to work for it. I probably got to tune the Xbox um, One X and the PlayStation 4, which is still on. Oh my God, I forgot that before was still on. But um, I had a lot of I had a lot of trouble because um, although I pinned it in the comments of where you can get it from, obviously uh, Amazon and all that stuff. Be careful on which one you choose, and I chose the right one. Uh, be careful of the one you choose because each one come with different ones. So, like when I was looking at other people have their uh, products, like like they unboxing and all that stuff, um, they will have two HDMI cords. Like they will have two of them, whereas well, opposed to mine, I only have one HDMI cord and one uh, Type C uh, USB connector. And that's only because I have a Windows um, Studio. I have Microsoft Studio um, Pro. I have this. So I don't have a, like, the, the slots are in the back of the, um, slots are in the back of the little hard drive, the, the floor, the base of the computer. There's no, um, there's no jack supports in the back of the screen. So that's why they came with the C cable. So be very careful on, um, on, um, on how you order it um huge huge shot because i was looking through everybody because everybody got different like everyone got different ways of how they hook up they um the averex media and um before i even say huge shout out to him huge shout out to my mom because my mom my mom she bought she bought the averex media card i told her that i was i was really trying to like take the game and you know, do all the stuff, and she she was she she was feeling she was getting very uh, good towards me. Um, but um, she bought me the Averex Media Card, um, so she, huge shout out to my mom. Um, but another one to shout out um, is uh, and his 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 video, and I'm gonna pin this like his video is right here in in the corner right here in the corner there you go finger in the corner um but it's gamer heaven he um here's one thing you need he 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 really did help me out um not 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 like me talking directly to him or anything like that but no he really did help me out as in like he really went into great details of like breaking down like like breaking down what you need to do to use the gamer card to you know it's maximum and all that stuff uh the channel is gamer heaven uh i did give him a sub um he really did break everything down on how to use it and I, and I went by his teachings down to the t and everything came out smooth everything came out smooth everything came out so fucking smooth um you're going to see in the videos of the trial and errors that I was doing. Um, I was trying to like stream directly, like I was streaming directly from the capture card. I, I, I really was, but the graphics wasn't coming out like, like 
you know, flourish and all that stuff. And that's that's probably only because like um that's probably because like when it comes to streaming, it's all about bandwidth and like what type of game you're playing and, and like the type of resolutions like, you know, um triple A games and all this stuff and like, you know, like like little or some effort will basically be given to it, but um I was trying to stream every single game that I got because if I was on my Xbox, it would be all fucking damn day. Uh, I only streamed just the, the average shit I played. One Piece. Um, I streamed. Um, yeah, I streamed One Piece. I tried to stream fucking Final Fantasy, which that basically, you know what? I'm gonna say that for the update channel that I'm gonna do. That's that's coming in a minute. Uh, but um, I tried to stream Final Fantasy. I streamed One Piece. I streamed, um, I streamed One Piece from the PlayStation, the, the, I streamed One Piece from the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, um, and, I, you know, I was just sitting there, you know, I was testing out certain things, I was moving certain things around, and, yeah, it is somewhat like, you know, if you're not a, a streaming, you know, a streaming haven person, you know, like, just getting out the mud like I'm doing and all that stuff, it, it's, it's kind of hard, you know, like, like, like right now on the video, he has like multiple windows up. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not for the, that's fucking annoying. Um, I just had to stick to one window and, 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 and it works for me, but, um, the gaming car works perfectly. And after I started streaming, I was thinking like, okay, how can I really get this straight forward? Like really, you know, now like, okay, let me just see how this will play out. So I started, instead of doing streaming, I did a straight recording so the straight recording she's fucking cr Chris 4k Chris 4k I repeat that shit Chris 4k the same shit I be seeing in all these other videos where you where you click the little the little fucking what's it called again the little fucking settings buttons on the side of the fucking YouTube shit and then fucking says 4k or 1080p and then it upscales and then it look all crystal fucking clear what you looking on your damn fucking TV, or your goddamn computer, or your phone, or anything like that, that's exactly what my fucking videos is looking like. So, moving forward, I am going to stream, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm going to simultaneously stream and record at the same time, because I'm surprised able to do that now. I'm surprised able to do that, and... I'm learning a little bit more about OBS and how it works and all stuff. Right now, I'm just the bare minimum of just working the OBS and that, and you know, and the the basic shit. I'm doing basic bitch shit. I'm not doing no epic ass damn. No, not doing none of that. Not not nope. Not gonna do none of that at all. So when I record, straight up, straight up, just pure fucking crisp. HD, no drop frame, no, no pixelate, no, none of that shit, none of that, straight forward, it's literally as if I'm playing the shit, like, off my fucking game, like, like I said, in the, in, in the past, y'all see my previous One Piece videos, and thank y'all for the subscribers, and, the, and, and, and the comments on it, and all that stuff, but, I have fucking streamed, and I have experienced drop lags, I have experienced like stored it pictures when I be like do special with fucking Grand Blue fucking um uh, not Grand Blue versus Grand Blue we yeah, have Grand Blue versus it doesn't any fucking game that has a high high like a high fucking rate of like just stuff going everywhere and exploding and stuff like you know like like, like I said there's such thing as the triple A games and the double A games and all stuff and one day I'm I'm a I'm a sit down and watch a video on the different di differentiation between like triple a double a's and all this stuff and, and 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 how they vary twitch i don't know if they updated they uh they, they stuff or not but like they don't they don't support 4k gaming from what i heard so far you can only probably go up to 1080p but in this day and age with these two we with these two new consoles in order in order to experience crisp hd as gameplay whether you're playing on the computer or like if you got a computer like what I got, I got the the the, the Studio Pro. This this surprisingly is a content computer. That's the only reason why I got this. 
Other than that, I've been in, like the other, like no disrespect to them when I say this, but I'd be like the other jackasses that be doing the shit and paying over two hundred, like, like, like over, like over two thousand dollars just to build a fucking damn CPU, just for it to crash on me in five minutes, and extra for RGB effects. Like, like no, 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 no. no. I wanted a computer for content creation, whether it be drawing, making videos, making music. I'm not gonna get into that, but making music, videos, and also with this computer. It also plays, it also supports gaming, like Xbox gaming, like not no Xbox, like not just the Xbox series, not just the Xbox One X, but the Xbox Series X. It supports that. It has a gaming, it has a gaming graphics card inside of them. There was a lot of other stuff I had to do too as well. I had to download, um... In order for me to use the OBS, I had to download this 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 software. I forgot the name of it. Fuck. Um, what is it called? Um, there we go. Uh, what is it called again? Recent, um, it's Nvx some shit. Whatever. It is 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 that and um, and um. I had to download that to basically start the OBS um, because my um, cause I need a, 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 like the software the software that's I think adjacent to OBS to really start it and it was pretty much awesome it, it was straightforward it was straight clean for it went through I went through a whole bunch of trials and errors like I said you're gonna see them in like in this video this unboxing video slash trial and error uh, the, I think the only two videos I'm not probably not gonna put up there is the Valkyrie Elsom and the uh, Steel Rising because those are two separate videos those are up on the channel you can check them out probably right here like yeah right here or probably I'll probably link them probably like in the in the in, in the it, like at the end of the video I, I'll probably link them you can watch them but nonetheless um, it's a bit of a work it's not no just plug in. This is going on. I got to no. I have to fine tune. I have to fine tune the audio because this comes with an audio jack where you can hook up to your headphones, which is which I can still see your headphones. You can hook up to those, and it, it takes the audio straight from it, or you can hook the audio straight up to your headphone. You know what I mean, your uh, your controller. So it it was a lot that I really had to do. Um, and that's why it took so long. That's why I literally took, because today is the 22nd. I just got everything done and tweaked out and completed yesterday. So it was technically the 21st. So it literally took seven days for me to, like, really do this. And also other stuff, too. Like, I had to work and um, I had to, like, the day, the day that I got it, I, I had to go get my hair done. So um, that's why you see the difference of the, like, difference of the, 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 the first the beginning and then, you know. That day I got my hair done, and now you know this is seven days later. But nonetheless, it is also I just got I just got a register, which also too, you, they give you a voucher to register your stuff, which I said in the, which I showed in the beginning. This gives you an additional year on top of the two years that you have. So you literally have three years of a warranty for this Avrex Media Card in case anything bad happened or anything like that. Pros, everything's awesome. Every, uh, everything's awesome, but cons right now, as I speak, as I'm recording now, is the upgrade. I cannot upgrade it worth a damn. I'm trying to upgrade it, and it, the computer, the drive is just not recognized. I keep saying, put it like to put the put put the C port in, like it's in the C port, like it's in there, and like it's kind of hard. But I had to download because when you put this on, it's going to give you a uh, they're going to give you a place to go to download the software. But that's just like there's two softwares. There is the setting software, and then there's the actual utility software. So the utility software, you can like it's like a quick shortcut way to like upgrade everything. Then there is the um, there is the, uh, the the actual settings. Then the, the, the settings you 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 looked it up, and that's way the settings you'll be able to switch up like between like what type of frame rate you want and at first it was kind of confusing because it was all new to me but at the same time I, I had to get used to it I had to hurry up and do this because 
there's a lot of games I want to get back into. There's a lot of games I'll continue with, like continuing playing. And like I said, with the Avery's Media Car, I can actually play these fucking damn games. Like, I can actually fucking play them now. Like, like when I upload them, they, they Chris graphics and all that stuff. Like, like I said, when I when I came to the decision of just okay, let me let, let me just test out recording right quick and I played fucking Steel Rising and started stream I streamed it simultaneously and recorded it and that's a good thing that's a good fucking thing so I streamed straight from my system and I recorded from the OBS and the um it's just that um one is I, I want like like one is obviously behind each other because you know I I hit recording after I did the streaming on there, so one's kind of behind each other, but nonetheless, it was awesome. Steel Rising graphics was like just blown out of proportion, like completely just crisp, clear. And mind you, it was crisp and clear. I don't know if it's like because I was using the YouTube, because like I, I I I don't know what YouTube like like YouTube supports as far as like the um, as far as like. 1080p or 4k or anything like that but it was crystal shit the youtube comparison which i'm gonna show on the screen fuck it i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna show it on the screen the youtube comparison to the uh to the um to the playstation uh the, the playstation no the twitch comparison major difference major fucking difference it, it, it was Chris, both of them was like, just like, the YouTube, the, the, the YouTube, basically the YouTube was like in 1080p, and, not what, well, not to, it's my bad, the YouTube was at 1080p, damn near, and the fucking, the actual recording from the OBS that I was using was fucking, four fucking K, like, like, it was like, just, just, like, like, I, I know I'm kind of getting lost for words, but I guess, but like, like, I have been searching for caption cards that can really, like, 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 way back before this even came out. The last caption card I had was this one. And this still works. It still works perfectly. It's just that I'm too lazy to get an SD card and put it in the back of here to upgrade it. So, I'll probably give this to, like, probably, probably one of my friends or so. I'll probably give it to my friend, Devin. I'll probably give him this. And that way you can record shit and, and do a lot of other stuff. But, yeah, like... The Avrex Media Card works. Combine that with the fucking OVS, you get the straight meme from Emperor's Groove when he's doing like this, and you know, like, like you, you're gonna get that. It goes hand in hand like glove. Like I said, I, I'm not that much used to OVS Studios. I know that's all I'm saying. Like, always use OVS Studio. They they always put out OVS Studio and Sony Vegas Pro. Here's the thing. I don't do it. Before this capture card came here, I was streaming from this Averex media card. When I couldn't, when I got lazy as fuck and didn't upgrade it, anything like that, I just said fuck it, and then I then I started streaming from my consoles directly. And that's why you only see me majority, obviously, because I'm a fan. But that's why you mostly see me playing the One Piece, the One Piece games. They don't need a capture card. The fucking um, Blaze of P, which I gotta beat. That don't need like stuff that don't need a capture card. But I do have games on ranging from my PlayStation and my Xboxes. I mean, my Xboxes and my PlayStation that requires a caption card. Like I, I, I won't be able to play it, you know, unless I have one. And now I have one. And now I have two. I have multiple ways of actually getting this out here. This is awesome. This is a major fucking step. And mind you, this don't need an SD card. It don't need one. It upgrades by the system. You know, I cannot do it right now for some odd fucking damn reason. But it upgrades via the system. Like via the internet and stuff. And it's, 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 it's beautiful, man. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. As I said, 18 minutes. I am at the end of the video. And I'll link him up there. Shout out to Gamer Heaven. He really did help me out. Cause I saw a lot of YouTube pages that was just they they were just unboxing it and then doing it from their point of view and not really explaining shit. He was actually going into detail explaining what the hell is going on, what type of card you mean like 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 what 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 system or anything like that you need or, or anything like that if you have Windows or anything like that. And I said in the beginning, if 
you have, I mean, if you're going to get this Averex media card from Amazon or anything like that, make sure you're getting it for the computer that you have. That is it. I'll catch y'all out later. Enjoy, I guess, a little bit of the footage or anything like that from Pirate Warriors and, dude, more videos on the way, man.